Equities reporter. You've been tracking the details of these IPOs, quite a flurry of them in recent weeks. What are the details on this latest one and when's it going to go public? It's a flurry indeed, uh, Lizzie. So just looking at Faki Hospital, which is set to be the biggest listing in the kingdom so far, uh, they got demand of $91 billion for their listing, making them oversubscribed by 119 times. So really just massive demand from investors in Saudi Arabia and internationally for this company and generally new companies and specifically new sectors or rather sectors that don't make up too much of the benchmark to Dow All Share Index. Uh, Fatih um, and the founding family are set to raise about $763 million from this listing. And uh, we do know that the retail uh, investor, uh, uh, retail investors can subscribe to the uh, offering from May 21. So we will get the listing date sometime close to that date. But we're still just watching out for this uh, company that listed at the top end of the range, just highlighting how demand continues to be incredibly strong in Saudi Arabia. With the CEO um, of the stock exchange over there telling Bloomberg TV just last week that they have more than 10 companies in the pipeline just in the near future alone. OK, and what other listings then are you watching in the kingdom? Absolutely. So one of those is actually going to be Rasan, which is an information technology company and that's what makes it quite interesting because that will be one of the first fintech companies to trade or go public in Saudi Arabia um, so they are currently uh, in book building process and um, for institutional investors that ended yesterday the price range is between 35 reals to 37 reals and there uh, are more listings on the horizon one of them is NUPCO Bloomberg did report that Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund invited banks to pitch for this planned IPO of the kingdom's largest medical procurement, procurement firm. Rothschild will be advising the PIF on uh, NUPCO's potential listing, and uh, details on the size and the timings are not yet finalized, but uh, people familiar with the matter have told Bloomberg that it could raise less than $1 billion.